Children in foster care can experience trauma in many different ways, and Rowan County leaders want to help them. And that's why we'd like to welcome to the studio Judy Klusman, Rowan County Commissioner. We're talking about something that's really unique to Rowan County, and that's mm -hmm. this trauma pathway for children. Yes. What exactly is this new training, and how is it designed to help our kids? Well, trauma is a very large problem, first of all. And a lot of times it's at the base of family abuse, which is why our children are being removed from their families. And we need to help them work through that trauma. Um, so we have new training. Um, and th with social services, this has been going on for several years and they are actually doing research and uh, we're very, very proud of the work that they have done. And also our school district is now joining through the CREM program and um, I'm very excited about that too because there we get to train our teachers in our whole community. We're talking about leaders, whether they are you know, police and sheriff, fire, uh, emergency services, as well as our elected leaders, because we all need to understand what is at the bottom of this problem and how we can help. It can, it can take on so many different forms. Yes. Uh, trauma can be physical, it can be emotional, it can be psychological. Uh, there's funding needed to be able to train our local first responders and our teachers. So mm -hmm. where is that money coming from? Well, the Department of Social Services does training with their um, staff yearly. And so they kind of got the ball rolling. And now the school district, um, I worked with the school district and we have $50,000 through our county budget to fund the um, community resiliency model training. So that will help train teachers and the rest of our, our leadership and faith leaders too. Well, and it's, it's good that you mentioned that too. How do our local community members get involved if they hear about this training and think, I come into contact with children who I know are in foster care pretty regularly. How can I best identify and help them? Mm -hmm. How does somebody get involved? Well, the community will be able to sign up for training very soon. Um, it's an ongoing training. Right now we're training the trainers, so we'll have enough trainers to go around and be in our different communities. And um, so that's why we're really excited. I mean, even like you say, just somebody that is concerned um, about children and trauma, they can come and take the course and learn about how trauma affects a child and how to help them deal with it. And we'll be sure to add ways that they can connect with Rowan County Services through our website, WSOCTV.com. Judy, thank you for being with us to share this important oh. new training that's happening. Thank you, Allison.